Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do another day in the life type of meal with the Langford family again. So let's get going. I'm excited to play them. Let's go. So Elise, she just found a super novium and its value is 4,775 simoleons party because when in doubt you low for money just search for minerals because is she a lucky sim <gasps> she is lucky oh my god it that helps so much with her lucky tree and having her keep on looking for minerals we will have enough extra funds to purchase our house because we have enough funds for our house but once we purchase it we're gonna be left broke so no 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 we're not gonna do that we're gonna have a nice cushion or after we buy the house, we got that nice cushion afterwards, you know? You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing right now. I'm so excited to sell that. So I'm just gonna have her do this for a little while, even though she's like super tired. But you know what, girl? You want that mansion of yours? You gotta work hard for it, okay? You gotta work hard for it, even if that means running in the rain. Chances of lightning hopefully will not occur because you are a lucky sim. And we are going to hopefully have enough funds in our bank account to finally relax in our nice old mansion that will be ours soon enough. Okay, so I think this is going to be our last round of searching. She has a good amount of rocks collected. She has captured a chinchilla. We were just rock searching. And then I saw this cute little chipmunk and this grayish little chipmunk but the thing was it wasn't a chipmunk it was a chinchilla and i feel like they're rare yeah okay so they are rare ronit is rare amongst other species in its sub order so i feel like that's super cool i don't think i want to sell it i definitely want to keep it uh we're moving into a bigger house and there's lots of space and i don't know what to do with all of the nooks and crannies in the house so you know what when in doubt get a pet that you capture and to give it its best life for its short lifespan you know let's do that i'm super excited with what she has so right now let's see how much they all cost i mean i'm curious how oh my god that chinchilla tempting but i feel like that's a good gift for teddy maybe that could probably be in his room or something like that so i'm still grinding with the family to get them money which they're close to but you know what we're just like cooking and whatnot and then we have an arrival of aliens elise here is getting abducted by aliens i only ever had this happen to carson once and luckily he didn't come out pregnant it was like a long time ago i can't remember if he came back with anything so you know what i'm hoping that she comes back with like something money worth or something like that you know what we'll see and there's no death by alien so that's good you know we, we, we don't want that we'll see we'll let her continue but this is her face right now just gonna screenshot that <laughs> all right let's see there she goes goodbye uh oh it looks like elise was adopted by an alien hopefully they were friendly um heckle yeah yell at them boo boo at them i just want to get money i just want to get money but there's a fire can we sue this person hello is this just gonna be a thing oh my god okay where is everybody yeah take out the fire please this girl she must be exhausted Ugh. insurance is luckily granting us 800 simoleons though so we're gonna be moving soon so i we're we're not gonna replace that do you see how much that is 1000 simoleons no no we're not doing that no mm -mm. it's finally the next day and i'm excited to see what elise is going to find in the mailbox today is such a beautiful day i love this world nice and green but i mean look at her face why i'm here raving about the day being an optimistic person and then look at her face sis are you okay like what's going on you just woke up between her or this guy in the back i don't know who's having a worse day let's check out who are you jared 
Jared, Jared needs help. Let me just tell you. Jared, I don't think we could help you, bud. You gotta walk the other way. We're, we're trying to like be optimistic, enjoy our day, but sis here is not enjoying it. Jared there is definitely not enjoying it. So hopefully what's ever in the mailbox will hopefully change that. So drum roll. This is, this is it. Okay, I don't know why I'm nervous, but we're gonna go for it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay applause applause i'm so happy right now i was worried because i was thinking that this was the super novium and i'm like oh that's it but hello we got eight thousand and then seven thousand so super excited about that elise this is gonna make your day okay honey because you're finally able to get your house and here we go fifteen thousand let's go baby all or nothing let's go so i'm gonna have elena go on after her shower i guess and it's time it's time to move i'm excited okay so we're gonna move into our well-awaited mansion so our mansion i didn't fully finish building it's a nice shell though okay so they're gonna be left with 73,000 simoleons which is definitely not bad at all so let's do it bye house it was great knowing you um <gasps> No, we forgot our chinchilla that we never named, but we're gonna give a name when it's today's birthday. Let me do a double check because I totally like jumped on it without putting things that I might want to keep in our family inventory. But our chinchilla is so important, we cannot lose him or her. We don't know. All right, I really don't see anything that else is worth keeping. I don't see anything on here. We just have a dog leash. A lot of their things are just decoration. So this will be your new household. Is this correct? Hopefully everybody's here. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we don't want to forget anybody. Carson decided it was time to change and just move houses. He will always remember getting fed up with how small his dwelling was. Honestly, their house was small. Um, did you see that? That was a glitch with Riley. He just like stretched out. Literally, the stretched out toddlers, stretched out animals are like the scariest. We could go on a whole video with glitches in The Sims 3. Let me tell you, I remember I was on my laptop back in middle school. I played The Sims 3 and it was me getting used to CC and I downloaded one sim with The Sims 3 Exchange and it came with this bad CC that infected like my babies and it was the black stilettos in the game but it was somehow with the baby cc in like their clothing so the black stilettos would take up the the whole baby but it was so frightening and i didn't know how to get it out of my game so the fact that i could still remember it is how scarring it was to my memory but anyway they're at their new house they're going through the gates and one thing that i'm excited about this house is since carson is a one star celeb he has the annoying interference with the paparazzis so it's good that they will no longer be in our residence i guess you could say because it is all blocked out you have this nice iron fence and these hedges that looks out onto the whole ocean it's a very beautiful beautiful view he needs to age up it's time it's time it's time for him to age up he cries too much why are you upset are you lonely again it's like one thing after the other with this kid i definitely have to do some like redecorating this house i used for like my cc um video that i was like showcasing like some of my favorite cc sites so i did like a cool montage and like a setup that i was going to use for the thumbnail never used it but like i mean look how pretty this is i love it i really do okay so i'll be right back because i'm just gonna put the basics because literally it's just bare minimum at least they have the kitchen but they don't have a bathroom so i'm gonna put a bathroom i'm gonna put a bed for the kids and then probably do some little decorations for teddy's birthday party so i'll see you then hi youtube it's gabby in the future so the build that i did took me all night which um you can't be surprised like i do decorating for the house you know it's not gonna take a couple of minutes it's gonna take a couple of hours because i am a perfectionist and i can't just have like one section of the house done i gotta do the whole house and this whole house is not even a house it's a mansion so <laughs> I was a true, how would you say, interior designer. I just didn't get paid for it. <laughs> Perfectionist here. So it finally is perfect. 
perfect you know it took me hours <laughs> so we're gonna save that for next video where we show off the house so it'd be like a big reveal i guess which i'm super excited about see you then bye